I'm a little bit late. Let me just have a look. Uh, Brandon's here. Here we go. Hashtag Queen Bean. Hi, Brandon. And Stefan's here wearing Francesca Bianchi's sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. And Lizzie. All hail and stand for your queen. <laughs> oh, I just quickly ran upstairs. What, did, what was I doing? I think I did a wee. Yes, that's what I did. Um, hey, Kev. Uh, what's he saying? Come on, Claire, let's be having you. <laughs> and Peter. Always love to see Peter. So I've got my phone plugged in. Hey, Katie. Hey, Heather. Hey, Arlise. I've got my phone plugged in with this wire that's going up here so it doesn't run out so it's kind of awkward let me get my trusty laptop we've got kevin here hiya he says it's kevin from the states hi kevin from the states i've got my trusty laptop i haven't even got my box which i'll be unboxing in just a moment but I've got my, I've got my violet wine. No, it's not wine. It's gin. Of course it's gin, as we all know. It's gin. And we've got Christy here. She says, hello everyone. We've got Scott and we've got Cherie as well, the top note. New glass, Claire. Yeah, I like a clear glass for my coloured liquids. <laughs> and Yara, woo, I made it, she says. <laughs> Aw. So yes, we've got uh, Palmer Violet Gin with some tonic. It's the calorie-free tonic. We won't mention the chips I had with my dinner. Um, where's my, where's my comments and stuff? Bear with, bear with. If I get my comments on the laptop, it's just easier. Un momento, por favore. I reckon I can probably get it on here. Uh, no ice. I've got ice. I've got a little bit of ice. It's mostly melted, but there's ice in there, Peter. Oh, yes, there's ice. Let me try and get this. Let me try and find this video that I'm making. Um, and I'm going to unbox something because unboxing <laughs> unboxing has become this controversial topic oh here we go it's not really a controversial topic but there's a few people that are not appreciating the unboxings and some of us love the unboxings i love an unboxing i don't care the only thing i stipulate with an unboxing if you're going to give me an unboxing please Sniff the bloody thing at the end of it and tell me a little bit about it. That is what I want from an unboxing because presentation, box, bottle, blah de blah, they're only like that important when it comes to a fragrance and everything else is that important. But yes, apart from that, I don't care about the noises that the unboxings make. I don't care how long it takes you to get into the box. I'm fine with it. I'm good with it. I love it, in fact. So, yeah, let me know what you think about unboxings. If you hate them, I would probably suggest that you click out of this video because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Right then, let's have a look. Peter loves an unboxing. Lizzie says, Who isn't a spanner? I'm not a spanner. Lizzie loves an unboxing. Rich says, big box. <laughs> um, Christy says, I'm being mesmerised by your glass. Mesmerised or memorised? Actually, Christy says, memorised. My glass is memorising you, Christy. It knows who you are and it knows where you live. And it's purple. And now it's part of me. So I know where you are, I know who you are, and I know where you live, Christy. <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. Is it does it feel a bit creepy? <laughs> Rich is wearing Beau de Jour off of Tom Ford. Lizzie, I'll be unboxing under my skin by Francesca Bianchi soon. Yes! 
Love an unboxing. Love an unboxing. Kev says I love an unboxing when my mic is switched on. Yes, so Kev has just filmed an unboxing and forgot to put his mic on. The thing with an unboxing is you have to get it right first time. Because once you've got all that shit off, you can't put it back on. And Scott has got a little unboxing for us at the weekend. Yes, I have heard about that. I'm excited for your unboxing, Scott. Valadina says I love unboxing, but I hate the plastic cellophane sound. And yes, I agree. Sniff the damn thing and give us a clue what it smells like. Yes. And Alice says, I just unboxed some Alchemia. Oh, lovely. I think, I think this whole not into um, unboxing thing, I think it's fake. I think it's fake news. I think everyone loves unboxing, even people that say they don't. I reckon it's fake news. So let me go get my box. <laughs> and uh, some scissors, and we'll get unboxing. I should have been more prepared, really, but it's always late. Oh, here we are. Here's the box. <laughs> Make sure my address isn't shown. In my dress is actually on both sides. Um, so, I'm going to take my time over this. I'm going to make loads of noise. How's that? <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Let's score here. I'll try not to... Um, cut my own wrists if I can avoid it but you know what draw any drama is good right on YouTube let's take okay right I'm just taking the information there and so does anyone know where, does anyone suspect where this might be from? Because I have kind of said in another video that I'm, I've am i ordered something. So there's a couple of things I guess you might be guessing that it could be. We've got some movement here. There's, there's the lid. Let me have a look at your comments before I reveal too much. <laughs> Luke says, if I think if people are hating on unboxing videos, they need a life. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Darcy Scent says, I just unboxed Rose Prick for 20 minutes, but I still talked about the scent, how it smells for 15 minutes. There's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Sherry, Sherry says, I'm done with buying for a bit, so no unboxing for me. We'll have to live it vicariously therein lies the beauty of an unboxing. Yes, I think so. I think so. And... John is on the tea, he's drinking tea. Scott's saying, oh, it's candles. Alisa's ASMR Claire is in the house, yeah. Lucy says, funny if it's her kinky underwear. <laughs> or a big deluxe rampant rabbit, says John. Luke says, I like the unboxing mums that reveal blooded, rotting body part instead of a fragrance. I have not seen or heard of that. Heather says it's an oil from Francesca Bianchi. Barry's in the house. He says, hey all. Uh, Nick, talking review says, can we get Brad in to ask what's in the box? 
Tony's in the house. Fragdicted says hello, everyone. Rose and Jones, Lizzie says blow up sheep. And I think that's me caught up. So we'll pop that down there and I can show you what I've got. Throw the scissors over there. Ready? Ah. Can you see yet? So it's Francesca Bianchi and it's the new Sublime Oil. So it's a body oil and it's in the scent of Sex Under the Sea Neroli. So that's how it comes, it's 100 mils. On the back it says, this multi-purpose dry oil nourishes and leaves a silky finish on your skin and hair with the delicious scent of sex and the sea neroli. Enriched by precious essential oils in a plant-derived carrier, this oil is 98% natural. So there it is, you can hear it, it's moist inside. So shall we get it out? I did get some samples as well. Um, I, I was able to ask for two samples and they've come in this lovely little package with some packing peanuts. <laughs> and so I've got a sample of Angel's Dust because I wanted to revisit that one. And I've got a sample of Sex and the Sea. Oh, actually, it was supposed to be Sex and the Sea Neroli, but it's just Sex and the Sea, that one. I might have pressed the wrong button. But, anywho, we have a cute little badge as well. And a lovely card. Let me know about the oil from Francesca, which is beautiful. She has lovely handwriting. Okay, shall we get it out then? Pop that down. Let's check your comments actually. Let's just have a little look see. See what you're all saying. Okay then. Well, okay, I'm really behind on your comments. Um, right, so Jacqueline's here. Hi, Jacqueline. Um, G Christy says, well, you can put it on your hair. I wonder how it will last. Yes, so it's a body and hair oil, Christy. We'll see how it goes in a second. Um, Luke says, packing peanuts are the best part of unboxing videos, but no one ever bothers to eat them. Do you want me to eat one, Luke? Because I will, if you want me to. Darcy says she's, says she's ordered MFK samples. Rich says, where do you get Bianchi samples in the UK? I just get them directly from the Francesca Bianchi website, Rich. Um, Stefan says, Angel's Dust is very nice, but I think the dark side is superior. I remember not loving the opening of Angel's Dust, but finding it really special once it got to a certain point. That's why I wanted to revisit it. Lizzie says she eats the packing peanuts. 
Luke says Lizzie really is a god witch. Brandon says I like it when they melt on your tongue. Right, okay, do you want me to eat a packing peanut? Because I will. I'm not afraid. I don't know if I want to eat a whole one. So we'll just like go for half, if that's okay. Mm. It's quite nice actually. Mmm. <laughs> Brandon says don't do it, Claire. Lizzie says no, they're toxic. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> it's all right do you know what this is me my new diet because i reckon that would properly fill you up but i doubt there's many calories <laughs> Raphael says mix it with your gin mm. no nah, i'm not eating them <laughs> I think I need to, I think I need to cleanse my palate. Shall we smell this oil now? <laughs> Rich says Claire spits. Who doesn't spit packing peanuts? Come on, give me some credit. Let's get this oil out of this box. So I decided this is not a break in my by no by July because it's not actually a perfume it's a body oil it's a, a product it's a necessary it's a necessary product because I have very dry skin <laughs> Bengal Rouge says unboxings are helpful for authentication purposes I've had a few come unwrapped which meant Someone else had it before me. Wow, okay, that's not good. Right, listen. are unsheathed. Hi Margie, Margie says hi. Okay. I'm done. And it's been ages since I tried this scent. Here we go. Nice, isn't it? So, glass bottle, a nice simplistic label, unscrewable cap. There's a little thing in the top to stop you getting too much juice out. And I've got so much perfume everywhere. I'm going to go on this arm here. Oh, that's nice. You just get a little bit out. And it has a light feel, like it's not a heavy oil. Oh, sexy. Yeah, that's how I remember it. So there's this peppery neroli. It's sexy and somehow bubble gummy without really being bubble gummy. Mm. So you can see that's not really, I'm not too oily there. It's really sunk in. Yeah, that's the smell I remember. There's, there's this green aspect to it. This, I guess it's a bit like the greenness that you get from petit grain. It's peppery. It's almost like rocket. You know, like when you have salad and you have rocket. Peppery and green. But you also have the 
oranginess of the neroli and some kind of sweet, sexy kind of, I, I say bubblegum, it's not as primitive of bu as bubblegum, but it's got this kind of sweet bubblegummy type thing going on. Mmm, I love it. Yes. Tony says, not too moist. <laughs> Jacqueline says, oils are great. Jackie says, oops, got to go and love unboxings. Thanks for popping in, Jackie. Um, Bengal Rouge says, I think it's unreasonable. I think it's simple jealousy, sorry. It's uh, unreasonable to hate unboxings. Um, Valadina says, really? And you were doing so well. And I was saying to myself, that's not so bad. She's doing a great job. Do you mean the no buy thing, Valadina? Uh, because I, I don't consider this a breach <laughs> because it's not a perfume, if that's what we're talking about. Unless I've missed something, I've decided this isn't a breach. Um, Bryant Worley says, the reason, and I'm sure others hate unboxings normally, is because it seems like a tease, unless the reviewer assures that a full wearing will lead to a full review, in my honest opinion. Now I get that, and that's why I really don't like it when people do the whole unboxing and they go on about the presentation and they don't talk about the scent. That really bothers me, because that does feel like a tease. So I get that, I really do. If someone does an unboxing of a perfume and doesn't talk about how the perfume smells, it's a, an oxymoron, in my opinion. Oh, yes, love this. Margie C says, Claire, I give you permission to buy whatever the heck you want. Thank you. <laughs> um. I'm not sure if I'm fully, I don't, think I don't know if I'm fully following everything. Um, the tone is talking about cake, that's not unusual. I want cake. And let's talk about cake. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Sex and the Sea Neroli. And it's got a really good strong scent to it. really loving it. It feels luxurious. I love the simplicity of the bottle and yeah. So I might spray some Sex and the Sea or spray the Sex and the Sea on top. Just on top like this. There we go. Got some unmoist Got some moistness going on here now. Mm, so sexy. <laughs> Everyone's talking about cake now. Heather says, my neighbour made a YouTube video about 10 things she hates. <laughs> There's lots of people that do that. Cheesecake, says Jacqueline. Oh, yes. Oh, moist. Dan, Dan Spanos, hello, moist. Are you feeling moist? Would you like a nice moist cake? <laughs> Katie says lime cheesecake. Tony says dripping. <laughs> Barry says I love a good unboxing. Nick says Claire, what's your special occasion perfume? I've probably got about 20 that I would choose from depending on how I felt, depending on time of the year. Um, so one obvious one would be Iris Ganache from Guerlain, a beautiful Iris, sort of chocolatey, spicy, rich, yet subtle in a way, fragrance. Um, what else? 
Whispers in the Library, I think I would maybe go for. Um, Le Plus Beau Jour de Ma Vie, which is a more girly, orange blossom, incense, vanilla. Depends, yeah, it depends on the particular situation. Mm. Margie says, what perfume makes you feel the most beautiful? Ah, <sighs> good question. Um, I would go back to my Galans again, the two that I just mentioned, plus um, my Ellie Saab Rose Essence Number no. 1, definitely makes me feel beautiful, really rich, dark rose with a bit of a resinous sweet ambery kind of feel in the dry down um but if it was like a summery day my renaissance 1861 which is it's just a fresh citrus mint fragrance it just seems to be a little bit more special than all the rest mm. and of course my label uh jean-paul gaultier label i will always feel really special wearing that it's just beautiful pear and vanilla and a kind of woodsy woodsy base I guess you would say mm. oh Hilary thank you you're so sweet <laughs> Joss is here hi Joss yeah, Margie says I like a nice sweet scent in the sun. Yeah, me too. Definitely love sweet scents in the sun, in the sunshine, in the summer. Um, I see no problem. I'm not everyone feels the same, but whatevs, whatever, whatever. Cheers. Oh, Joss, thank you. She says you always look stunning. Bless you. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah. I've got a couple of other things I could talk about with you lot actually and Tony from Fragdicted sent me two samples today uh, one of which I was wearing earlier so I might go and get that now and the other one which I just put on paper so bear with me I've got two more samples we can talk about Charger. Charger's changing stuff around a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so Tony and Bex sent me some Love Toxin, which is... Actually, I'm not sure I remember now. Was Love Tox... Tony, you still here? Let's change that a little bit. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Sorry, let me sort that out. Let's see if I can unplug for a bit and then I'm not tied to stuff. Oh dear, that's not going to work, is it? Right. <laughs> How's that? Tony, love toxin. Was that a Miguel Matos one now? I can't, I can't remember. Let me know if you are still here, Tony. But Tony and Beck sent me some Love Toxin. Oh, you are. Um, Love Toxin, remind me the brand and the perfume. Was it? I feel like it was Miguel Matos, but it was a different brand that I wasn't familiar with. And um, Margie says, I know I can listen to Claire speak all day. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Kala yes, Kalaj, is it Kalaj, do you say, or Kala Kalal, would you say Kalal? Um, anywho, yes, Tony sent me some love toxin, and I was really curious to try this one, and I can't remember the notes now, but it's this, it's almost like, it reminds me of Poison, Dior Poison, the original Poison, except it's sweeter, it's not quite as bitter, it's not quite as... I mean, it's 
Wow, it's, it's crazy. Let's see if I can pop some somewhere. Let's go up here. I've not tried it on skin yet. I mean, look at the color of that. It is so rich. So we're gonna go spray up here. Oh, I've just let, I let a little bit rip there. So I'm just gonna leave that. It's so strong and so rich that that's all I'm gonna spray. Yeah, it, it completely reminds me of poison. Mm. But it's just um, sweeter. It's a little bit, it's like poison, but almost bubblegummy and vanilla-y at the same time. Kalu, is it Kalu? Tony, is that right? Kalu or Kalau? Hello. <laughs> yeah, love toxin. I love the the word toxin, and it's so appropriate here for this thick, in your face, loud as loud AF fragrance that, yeah, it smells like jasmine and tuberose and bubble gum and resins and incense and spices. It's crazy. Strawberry, peach and spices, says Tony. Yeah, I can't get, I can't get the, uh, what, did you, what did I just say? I can't get the poison out of my head. And the fact that it's called love toxin, toxin obviously harking to poison as well. It feels like a, a homage, a homage, a homage. It feels like a homage to poison to me. It's like someone wanted to recreate poison just in a modern way and making it even more condensed and thicker and richer and stronger. Jon Snow says in his interview, he mentioned how much he loved poison. Just remind me, because I'm not sure who's the perfumer here. Um, I've lost the plot a little bit. Tony says it's rose tuberose musk. Oh, it is Miguel. Okay, that makes sense because I know that Miguel loves tuberose and he loves a bit of animalics. And yeah, this does feel like, so it's, it's really interesting that Tony says that he mentioned, or no, not Tony, John. John says that Miguel mentioned in his interview that he loves poison, and this is feeling like a homage to poison. It really does. It's pretty full on. <laughs> when would I wear this? I would wear this for myself, just like I do with poison. So I've got I've got a um, vintage poison upstairs and it's not something I consider wearing if I'm going out in public. Well, I'd wear it if I was going to Asda's. <laughs> I'd wear it. But if I'm looking to go out for a night and I want people to think that I smell really nice, poison's not the thing that I would choose because it's quite potent and rich and it's that crazy voluptuous plum tuberose combination that's like mental. So I wouldn't choose poison for a night out seductive kind of scent. And same here, even one little spray would be just crazy. But I would wear this for my own enjoyment. It's not, it's not off-putting, it's not, 
it's not unattractive at all. It's just mental. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> Centralized says, your poison running through my mind. Isn't it brain? Your poison, poison running through my brain. Yeah, I think it's brain. <laughs> Remember that, I had that on an album. Some time ago, yes. Or veins, says Fire Mash. Scott says brain, Spine Mash says veins. Probably veins. Veins would make more sense. I thought brain, but poison running through my veins would make more sense. Yeah. Everyone seems to agree with veins. <laughs> poison. I don't want to break this chain. That's probably not the right words either. Anywho. Yeah. Margie says they both work. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that is um, very much a poison type fragrance. Plummy, rich, tuberose, incense. Now on a completely different vein or brain or flame or whatever else rhyme. Um, the one that I was wearing on this arm, look at it, look at my finger wing flapping around, is Shabad Vintage and this one I'm going to respray because I'm overwhelmed by everything this one is so pretty it's, it's the opposite it's completely the opposite of um, of the Miguel Matos one over here this is actually it reminded me of something when I first sprayed it it was doing my head in because it so reminded me of something and it took me ages and it's only when I looked it up on Shabad's website and I saw a picture of Ylang Ylang and it struck me immediately that this smells like Baccio di Velluto by Brigantia not the whole way through but the first hour and that's a Ylang Ylang sandalwood vanilla, amber green scent. And this shares a lot of similar notes, but this has almond, and the almond in here is quite strong. And it's a soft and fluffy, sweet almond. So if you like Hypnotic Poison by Dior, it's kind of in that ballpark, but it's more subtle. It's not quite as full on. It feels to me, it does feel like vanilla and almond and florals and musk. But it's just a bit more light. It's just not so full on sweet. And it's a little bit more development here than D uh, Dior's Hypnotic Poison. But it does, in the outset, remind me of Brigantia's Bacce di Velluto, which is beautiful, by the way. So really really like it it's kind of fresh and sweet our cell is in the house hi Sal and uh, let's just have a little catch up Jacqueline is wearing Lavender's Trianon off of Maison Lincoln And if you haven't already shared what you're wearing, then do so now. Also, don't forget to share what you are drinking and what you are snacking upon, if you are allowed to say so. Mine is a violet gin with some tonic and some melted ice. And I'm covered in perfume. John says, after Claire's, of course, go watch Sal's new video, everyone. 
Yeah, I'm still catching up actually on sales. I've just started watching the first Game of Thrones video, but there's two parts. So go and watch the first one first, part one, then watch part two, which I still need to watch myself. And I love how Sal's dressed up in the lovely red velvet outfit. And yeah, really brilliant videos. Uh, right, so we've got some scents here I need to read out. Margie's wearing Angel Sucre, love it, seems a little light today though, need to spray more, just spray away. Hilary's wearing what I did on my holidays and sampling Celine's black tie. I still need to try Celine, I love the sound of quite a few of their fragrances. Joss is wearing Aqua de Palma's Peonia Nobile and Starbucks Double Shot on Ice, lovely. Uh, Barry's wearing, oh Barry's got a cup of tea, cup of tea, hopefully he's not wearing a cup of tea unless he's pissed his wife off so much she's thrown a cup of tea over him. John has got a quite a vile combination of Acro Dark and Club de Nuit Intense Man. John are you still testing that out? Uh, <laughs> not the, I'm sure the Acro Dark is lovely from the descriptions you've given but Club de Nuit Intense Man, mm. yeah, I don't know. Scott's wearing his Toile de Parfums Marquis de Sade. Kev says Game of Thrones video, is that? Um, yes, yeah, so Kev, uh, Sal has done a video, like Hilary does, uh, fragrance fictions, really, uh, talking about fragrances for characters in Game of Thrones, which is something I am sadly lacking in my life i don't actually i've never watched game of thrones i'm kind of uh, a little bit behind the times with that one uh kashish mas Max, maksud sorry kashif maksud hopefully i'm saying that right is wearing the swiss arabian shwok which is a pineapple bomb and katty is it's got a gnt and is wearing Anson's Asakusa by L'Orchestre Parfum. I still need to try, I've got one sample of the uh, leather one. No, I've got rose trombone as well, but I need to try it more. Christy's wearing the smell of dinner, chicken curry and drinking lemon tea. That's okay. <laughs> and Spy and Mash has got Santa Royale. Kev is wearing Mancera Red Tobacco. Tony says Bex wants sandalwood and peony after it was her scent of the day. Sandalwood and peony, in my humble opinion, is a masterpiece. If you love vanilla and you enjoy sandalwood, that is a masterpiece. I think there's something special about the, the way that has been made. I, don't, I can't explain it. The way it wears on your skin is something else. Diana, Dion says uh, she's wearing Cashmere by Chopard. I still not tried that one. It gets a lot of love in Fredcom though. Hilary says I have one Celine bottle. I've sampled two others and have another one on the way. They're so good. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't actually know how to sample them, Hilary, in Europe. I haven't been able to find them as yet. Jacqueline says I want coffee. I ran out of my. Bustolo coffee, the only true hardcore coffee that will wake you up. AH is here. Hi AH, thank you for joining us. It's wearing Kieran's NYC 10 a.m. flirt. Peter is wearing sand from and perfume today, bloody beauty. Tell me more about that one, Peter, because it sounds amazing and I love the philosophy behind the brand. They do it's a fair trade situation and um, sustainability and they're using real sandalwood from, I think it's, where's it from? I can't, I can't remember where it's from now, but it is beneficial to the people who they buy it from. And it's not, they're not ripping down trees. It's, it's like they're using stuff that's already, I don't know, trees that have already fallen down. I can't remember. Um, 
Barry says, she was close to throwing tea over me. I was wearing two oods today. Oh, Barry, you do take your chances, don't you? <laughs> John says, it's, so, it's too complicated for my little nose. Never smelt so many synthetics before. Oh, the club didn't we intense, man. Oh, I don't understand it. It gets so much love from certain type of, of a consumer I guess you could say but I've never got on with it that it that opening blast of a burnt rubber what is that all about like why would anyone think that smells good it's okay after the first half an hour but yeah no 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 um Sense of me, hello, this is Clarissimo. <laughs> nice to see you. John says, AH Bamboo Harmony is lovely stuff, but not worth the price. That's hard for me to say about Killian. Um, okay, right, I reckon I'm caught up. Am I smelling anything else or am I done? I'm not actually sure. Did I talk to you about vintage? I think I did. Uh, kind of like Dries van Noten from Frederick Mal, but better and not as sickly sweet. Sounds really good, Peter. Yeah, I'll definitely see if I can try it. Um, right, I think I'm kind of running out of steam. I've got to be honest with you. Um, I hope that you liked my unboxing. <laughs> Of Sex and the Sea, Sex and the Sea Neroli oil. This is how they look. So you can see it's proper glass, looks stunning. I love the way it's moisturised my skin, and you can see it hasn't made me all oily. Um, really enjoy that. So as far as I'm concerned, that didn't break my no by July because it's not a perfume. But I have broken my no by July in case you didn't realise because I bought out off eBay, I bought a perfume East by Tioni Reinfeld because it came up, it was already in Europe, it was in Germany and it was a lot cheaper than getting it from Australia. The notes sounded amazing so I did take a punt on a blind buy there and I'm pretty happy. It's not as stunning as Embers, which I've just reviewed. If you haven't watched my review yet, I just premiered a review before I did this live and I reviewed Embers and Avant Gardenia from Tioni Reinfeld. So if you're interested in that, it's a natural house and they're based over all the way, millions and millions and millions of miles away in Australia. Uh, I have kind of fallen quite deeply for embers. And I really like, actually, I really like Tafe Rose as well, which I'm going to review soon. So I'm going to, there's three rose fragrances now that I need to review from the house. So I'm going to try and do them all together if I can. Uh, but Tafe Rose, I think, and Embers are my favourites. And, yeah. So I've just reviewed Embers and Avant Garden Gardenia. So they're already on my channel. Go and have a look if you can be bothered, if you're interested. But, um, yeah, I think I've had enough. I've just completed a set of three 12-hour shifts. And I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired and I want to get up at a decent time tomorrow because I need to put the bins out and I've missed the last two or three bin days. So I've got like a stack of bin bags that have been, I'm hoping aren't full of rats and stuff, but it's, sometimes it's hard to be a woman. <laughs> sometimes it's hard to be a woman, putting out the garbage on your own. Especially if you have to get up at 7am because our biz, our biz, business, our bin men, they literally arrive at like 10 past 7 in the morning. So, I need a carer. I need 
help. I could do with some hired help. But I'm going on now, like none of this is relevant. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all really, 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 really soon. Much love. Mwah. Cheers. And gin is the future. <laughs>